Hey guys, welcome back to the Keeping Up the Queen podcast, episode four. I'm joined with my friends Emma and Avery to get today again. Hi. Hey. If you guys want to support my podcast, make sure you hit the link down below and enjoy this episode. I'm putting my hair in a ponytail right now. <laughs> okay, Emma. Thank you. So, um, their neighbor's dog is over at our house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very fun. He's very whiny. His and name's stubborn. Baxter. Yeah. He's very whiny. He's and whiny. stubborn. Yeah. Yeah, we went on a walk and he wouldn't move. I w- he was walking me for some of it. Then I was... I had to pick him up. You literally had to pick him up. Yeah, and then um, Julie was walking me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we have a picture of that. It was very interesting. 100K, I'll post it. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wait. Oh. That's pressure. Okay. <laughs> That's scary. But, um, Patrick is very cute. I love him. He's literally, like, iconic. He, like, whenever you have food, though, he, like, follows you around. <laughs> That's... And, it was like, yeah, he followed us up the stairs because he had some chips. Yeah. Which, um, shout out to Blue Chips because they're really good. They are. You can find them at your local, local grocery they're store. They're not like what you would expect, but they're really good. They they're bussin'. They yeah. don't look good, but they're good. Yeah, they're like, they're like, chef's kids. And they're healthy, too. Yeah, they're corn tortilla chips. <laughs> tortilla? <laughs> tortilla. Tortilla. <laughs> Hurricane. Hurricane tor- Hurricane Karina, no. more like Hurricane Tortilla. Wait, <laughs> that's Wait. that was Hurricane Karina, more like Hurricane Katrina. 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 Katrina, more like Hurricane Tortilla. We're so funny. I I miss Vine. I wish Vine was still. I never watched Vine. I didn't have like a phone when. Yeah. I just like watched it on YouTube, but like not the actual. That's how David Dobrik got popular. Really? Check out my mm-hmm. David Dobrik video if you haven't already. Do you have a David Dobrik? Guys, let's talk about Mr. Beast. Oh my gosh! Wait, um, do you guys have his merch? No. no. Do you? Yes. My dad and I... I do um, really watch Mr. Beast. I do. That's the only thing that entertains me. Oh my god, me. he's amazing. My dad and I have matching sweatshirts and like shirts. Wow. Well, he's like a shirt and I have a sweatshirt. And I watch Ryan Train. Who's that? Oh yeah, the dude who went in the underwater hotel. No, I oh. watched his um, Surviving on a Penny Fair. Oh, yeah, week. I kind of want to do that. That sounds, like, really fun. Yeah. Oh, this is, like, a really underrated creator. He's, like, 10K. Nick Austin, I think. Who's that? Um, I don't even know how I found him, but he, like, survived with no money in L.A. for a night. How and he, did like, you do that? That's what Ryan Shran basically did. Mm-hmm. He survived with a penny, except it was in a small town. But so. what, yeah, what they did was they got free food. They went out to dinner with someone and used them for free food. And uh, so then they stayed at a hotel with someone. Like, whoa. Wait, I want to watch that. Wait, just a random stranger? Yeah. Wow. Wait, that sounds scary. Yeah. No, that seems like fun. I would Wait, do that. We should do that. Yeah. No, I... 14 year old should definitely stay with an adult at a hotel unsupervised. That sounds like the best <laughs> idea in the world. Guys, no, like, when, when I'm, I'm older. older guys, yeah. When I'm older, I want to, like, completely change my personality, move, move to a different... Team town for a week and like be like really weird <laughs> and be then, like emo like just sh- and then go to another small t- like do it for like a couple weeks and then go to another small town completely change my personality then go to another small town completely change my personality wait i kind of want to like we can do it together mm-hmm. and we can make it a youtube channel whoa, whoa. post it on here and you should whoa. do it with us yeah yeah that would be fun oh, that would we could pretend to be sisters <laughs> I mean, I think we could pass. We yeah. definitely could. Yeah, we definitely and the older could. sister? Yeah. Um, wait, no. no we're right. older. Yeah, but you look older than us. Because you're taller. <laughs> Height reveal? 5'9"? Whoa. Height 5'9"? Yeah. I'm 5'7". No, you're not. No, yeah, Carson's like 5'8". Wait, I don't even know. I don't think you're 5'9". Wait. I'll be we're like standing up to control her height. I'm 5'7". I have no clue. Everyone says they're like taller than me. Or I mean I'm the five, same height. Five. So I'm just like growing. I'm the shortest one here. Yeah. I'm small. Ouch. I'm tiny. Tiny. It's okay. Yeah, but it's good to be should... tiny. Why? If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First off, it's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. 
You can make money from your podcast with no minimum <laughs> listeners. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. See you guys there. So this part of the podcast, we're talking about crazy Karens because yeah. nobody likes crazy Karens. I don't have... A, wait, I have a story, but I don't yes. know if I should tell it. Just don't Just use don't, names. Don't reveal names. Or location. Okay, so my friend's mom is kind of a Karen because they were... <laughs> <laughs> they were in, it's kind of true, but she's super nice. Yeah. She was in um, Petco. Petco. And um, they were looking at... Dogs. Dogs, but they didn't have, like, dogs, right? Yeah. And then they she like, got... They don't have any dogs. No, no, there there was a dog, but it was, like, overpriced. How does yeah. Petco have no dogs? That sounds... It was, like... No, it did. It had, like, one dog. And it was, like, overpriced. <laughs> it was, like, a tiny dog, and it was overpriced. And then she got... She was, like, can I see the manager? Because this is way overpriced. And then she was, like... <laughs> she was, like, I'm gonna call the news. <laughs> You're gonna call the news? How do you, like... Because I think the person, like, the cashier person was really rude, too. Yeah. So then she was like, mm. And then Ooh. she spoke to the manager. Oh, I can't yeah. People like that. But no, no but she's actually really like, nice. She's, like, one of the nicest people ever, but, like, she just can have Karen moments. Yeah. yeah. My ex said I was a Karen. Mm-hmm. Like, You're not how? A Karen. You're not. I think you could be. No, I'm kidding. I mean. Maybe in you, the future. In the news. I'm a future Karen. <laughs> I can see, uh,. Emma as a future Karen. Why? I don't know. Just something about you. I don't think I'm Karen worthy. Mm. I think I'm soccer mom worthy. You are soccer mom with that whole outfit. That's mm-hmm. soccer mom. She's what, wearing like. What do you think I will be in the future? What do I, I look like? Little Stay lemon mom. mom. No, I think mm-hmm. you would be. Pinterest home mom. Oh my gosh, I want to be a little lemon mom. I think you would be like aesthetic mom. What do you mean? Honestly, aesthetic yeah. Mom. Like Pinterest home. Oh. And like perfect. I feel like that would happen. <laughs> so, like, like, I don't know. Just. Like, I have a crazy dream cute. I can tell you about. Yeah, like, and you have, like, all the DIYs and everything. Yeah. Like, honestly, yeah. I feel like that would happen. So, you know the family edit, Eight Passengers? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, their oldest son, he's, like, 16. This is a dream, guys. Don't sue me. But I'm, my parents are on the beach, and he comes up to them, and my mom's like, do you know who Queen Edits is? Then he's like, no, and he had, like, such an attitude. Then he, then there's a whole Save Chad thing, which I didn't create. Other people did that. So, like, obviously my mom t- told him about the merch I have and, like, stuff like that. Then he invited me over to his home. Then the oldest daughter was there, and she was being, like, really fake and mean. But then she's like, don't move. So, obviously I ran to the door to try to leave. Obviously. Then the rest of the family comes in. Ruby Doo, the main mom, she comes Is that in. Actually? Ruby, Frankie. Oh. She comes in and she's like, Don't you dare move when I'm trying to run out. She drops her child on the ground. She runs up to her like room and she grabs her Second Amendment right. Oh. I don't want to say that. Then oh, you can you infer do. what happens next, but you I'm do. no, yeah, I'm no longer living. Oh. I was traumatized for days. Guys, look at my foot. Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, wait, that's kind of scary. What's yeah. your, like, craziest dream? Um, my, I'll tell you my scariest dream. Okay. Um, it was, like, a recurring nightmare when I was younger. Ooh. But, was like, it about the Minecraft zombies? <laughs> no, no, that was a one-time nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> um, but, like, it was that, like, okay, so if we would be, like, upstairs, our family would be, like, sleeping and stuff. And then in the basement, it was, we lived in this other house, and it didn't have, like, very good, like, security lock thingies. Wait, was it in which house? The one before this one. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and, like, so, like, the door would, like, open and stuff. Ooh, scary. It was, it was a very creaky Yeah, house. it was very creaky. And I had this dream that, like, um, like, a bunch of, like, SWAT bad guys, like, SWAT team kind yeah. of guys, but they were, like, bad guys would try to break into our house Ooh. in the basement and, like, crawl through windows and try to shoot us. Oh. And I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> but then we would have to, like, hide in, like, the basement and stuff. But I always work, I always woke, woke up before anyone died. So that's good. Because I forced myself to wake up. I think, oh, whoa. I think I'm a lucid dreamer and I don't even know Oh, it. I want to. Mm, lucid think, dreamer seems 
fun. Because I was describing it to my mom, and she was like, Mary, are you a lucid dreamer? And I was like, what do you, what is that, what do you mean? And then she described it to me, and then I was like, oh, I guess I Wait, am. what does it mean? It's like, like you, you can, can like you, it's first you're aware, person, oh. you're aware you're dreaming, and you can control your dreams. Oh, I can, wait, I can control my dreams. Really? Because I was with like, my. And it's like in first person, too. Sometimes yeah. it's in first person. Because I, I, I was so with my boyfriend in a dream, and like, like last night, but I knew I was dreaming, but I wanted him, I wanted to tell him the dream in the dream, but I wanted to like text him, like wake up and text him about the dream. But could you control the dream when you were in the dream? Yeah. Well, I d- that's just a dream. <laughs> Wait, I, do, I don't think I do because I have dreams, but like I can't control what I'm doing in them. That's weird. I can control what I'm, like I'm, yeah. thi- like, I'm thinking in the dream and I can like. Well, I, I was know. running around Walmart last night in my dream in a library. How do you remember all your dreams? I don't remember. They're just really scary. I don't remember. I don't anyway. think I. Mine are usually like normal, like at school or at my house. Mm. Lucky. You've probably been in one of my dreams. Wow. Have I been in one of yours? Probably. I can't. I? I don't remember them that far. Now they're on documented history, so. I know mm-hmm. you've been in my dreams. Yeah, you've definitely you've been in my dreams. Because I mean, she's my sister. I'd hope she'd be in your dreams. Wait, my do brother. they know that? Yeah. That we're twins. Uh huh. My brother is also in my dreams sometimes. Sometimes like he's in my dreams more than you, but I hang out with you more. That's weird. Yeah. Favoritism? Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, she's calling me her favorite sibling. Mm-mm. Yeah, you are. I never said that. Yes, you I don't do. pick favorites. <laughs> you, you're in Oh, you, it. but everyone definitely has one. I, obviously, I'm an only child, so I don't have one, but. I'm your favorite friend, so. Yeah. No, not you. Not you, really. Just me. Okay. I don't even know who my favorite friend is. I don't have one. one. That's true. Oh, whoops. Just calling other names. (laughs) Sorry. My bad. Wait, why do you have a camera in here? What camera? That's a... Tripod? Yeah. Because Mary and I like... Because... Because, um... Emma likes to take photos of herself. Um. Wait, that's what you did for your Instagram photos yesterday? No. No, no, no I no. actually took those. <laughs> it just felt I actually took them. No, I haven't actually took, taken photos. That was time. right after I worked out. Mm-hmm. Wait, if I have my, um, if I do my face reveal, can I use that? Yeah. Can we do it at your house? Yeah. Okay. But, like, um, uh, it was... Forgot what I was getting. Oh, I finally did my makeup yesterday and I got. It looked good. I got in a cute outfit, so I was just like, let's take some. You always do like pink eyeliner. It always looks so good. Yeah, I I I know how you do that. I did red eyeshadow this time. Yesterday. It looked like pinkish. It was pinkish red. And then I took her photos. Mm -hmm. All three of us worked out yesterday. That's fun. I walked around the lake with my boyfriend. I I went on a bike ride. I did an apple juice. What what is that like set ups like? I don't know. I just followed like a video. Uh, it was like it's a lot to do a set up. I'm so sore. Of it. And just the thick of it. Oh. And I just sent you a time shadow thing. The woods. Bush. It's bush. Oh. Julie, you're like the only ans- person I um actually snapshot. <laughs> okay, meaningful. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then I send um pictures of the sky to everyone else. <laughs> Wait. Thank you. You're welcome. What about, like, Maddie? Yeah, I, I do that, too. There's very few people that I actually care about. So. Do you guys, like, actually use Snapchat anymore? Like, comment down below, because I feel like it's dying, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't Snapchat anyone else. Me neither. Like, you, Maddie. I feel like you just Snapchat your closest friends and everyone yeah. else. Yeah, just... I used to Snapchat everyone else, and it was just, it's too much. Yeah, exactly. it's like... Too much it's work. too boring. Yeah, but if like, I'm, I don't care about them, so I'm why am I... If I'm bored, I will. Like, like I just if they everyone send open. me a chat, I'll answer. But yeah, oh. don't... Why do some people, like, not open chats? I think that's, like, psychopathic. I think because if... Wait, if you already sent a snap, like, a picture snap, then it shows the red thing and not your chat yet. No, so but no, it's, it no, it's the chat first, and they leave them open, and I'm like, whoa, how are you not, like, dying? Like, I'm already having, like, an anxiety attack once, like, it says the person's typing. And I, I'll type to you. Ready? <laughs> Just, like, it freaks out. <laughs> oh, 
Whoa. Challenge. You're typing on a... Whoa. Whoa. Scared. What is she typing? Wait, let's go check. BRB. She said, I'm so cool. Then a bunch of random words. <laughs> oh, not that one. I, I look so bad in that. Too bad. I feel like my true colors are coming out on this podcast. Sleep. Maybe it is. Wake up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, nobody commented last time on their favorite water. I know, and nobody commented Emma is cool. Oh, gosh. Like, I was honestly kind of offended. So Do better, Queen no Edit's fan base. I'm no one's listening. Nobody's listening to this? Well, I'm still... I'm still... Bringing it in that dough. Whoa. 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 Fun. I like take you out to lunch once. Wait, what? Since you're on this podcast, I'll take you out to lunch to cover for your time. Oh, no, it's fine. It's no. Do you want to play volleyball? Sure. What's up? Whoa. Uh, guys, calm down. <laughs> We're currently pou- passing a bouncy ball. Oh, gosh. Setting it right now. Oh, this- oh. it's probably noisy. Once, um, we did this at a friend's house. We, we were playing volleyball, and then I on accident knocked over all their lights on their wall. <gasps> <laughs> it was like last week. <laughs> last Wednesday. It's okay, though. Wait, so you're not coming to youth group? No. That's we're sad. going out to dinner, I know. That's me. Oh, what is that? It's from the Puka Shell necklace. The poop. <laughs> the poop. <laughs> Puka Shell. Poop. Puka Shell. We got some oranges today. Oranges, okay. yum. What I kind of oranges, oranges do you like? Do you like cuties or do you like the big oranges? I haven't had oranges? oranges a long time, so I'm like trying them again. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. like Because last time I was like allergic to them. <gasps> we were allergic Wait, let's to... talk about allergies. That's a we fun thing. We were allergic to a lot of fruits, but, but now, now we're not. Wait, yeah. what are you guys allergic to? We're... Um, eggs, peanuts, peanuts. all nuts. Um, all nuts? All nuts. Yeah. What's an all nut? All space nuts. <laughs> I thought it was like a new type of nut, and I'm like, <laughs> I want to try an all nut. <laughs> and beef. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wait, what do you guys eat? Um, pasta. Oh, and mashed potatoes. I love and mashed. soybean flour. So you can't. Oh my god. No, but we have soybean flour. And it Wait, can I ask us. you if you can eat this food? Like yeah. my diet. Sure. Okay, can you eat kibasi? I, I have, have no idea what that uh-huh. is. Can you eat hamburgers? If they're chicken burgers. <laughs> but you eat McDonald's. Yeah, but they're chicken burgers. Oh. Turkey burgers. Oh. Oh, I don't like turkey burgers. Meatloaf. I hate meatloaf. That's like no my hatred. That I have, it's disgusting. Have have don't ever try it. Okay. Wait, then why do you, why is that your diet? <laughs> I don't know why. That just came to mind. I don't eat it. Oh, um, that's gross. Meatballs? And like yeah. pasta? Yeah. If they're made out of turkey. And if the pasta's egg free. Gosh, I actually, like, feel bad. Like, it's okay. It's okay. But next year, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> we we you can always have to sit at, like, a peanut-free table for all of our life. And, like... You still do? What? Like, in eighth, like, all of our life. So, so now, this year, for the first time ever, we get to actually sit where we want. <gasps> Whoa. Uh-huh. Did your friends used to, like, come sit with you? Yeah. Yeah. Because... There. It was cool to sit at the peanut butter table in elementary school. That was, like, the cool really? thing. Yeah, and everyone sat there. But there's no... Hold on. Queen Edit's dad's texting me. The, the Heather? Oh, it's a house. We're in the market for buying a house. Ooh. But... But, yeah, I'm, like, actually... And yeah. we're actually riding a real bus. Whoa. Yeah, that's it's fun. Really, I'm pretty cool now. <laughs> you guys are cool. Yeah, but I'm excited because it was so annoying to sit at the peanut butter table. I bet. Because, like, if we want to sit with our friends who sit at another table, we couldn't. And, like, it's like... It was so... Like, they, like, like wouldn't let us. If they saw us sitting at the other table, they would make us move. Yeah, that happened well, to me yeah. this year. <laughs> um, but... What did you guys do for the COVID at school this year? Like, how did you eat? We just... We just had our, the peanut I mean, we could... It was Were you more, spaced out? Yeah. yeah. It was more free, though, because, like... We had to eat in our auditorium. Some people had to do that. But it was just were, awkward. It was but we like, got first pick, because we're at the beginning of the alphabet. Yeah. It was, like, cool to sit in an auditorium. Like, nobody liked to 
sitting in the cafeteria. We had we had like chairs. We had the cafeteria, then outside of the library, and then auditorium, Ooh. then course room. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. And like and like where you like they had you know like the entrance to the school they had like a few tables there too. No, oh, but like fun. I would walk past there and it was like so awkward because literally no one was talking in there. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cafeteria was always like oddly quiet. No, not the cafeteria. Oh. The cafeteria was loud. The the because pl- we would yell at each other. <laughs> yeah, the place where they sat, um, right outside the library, like it was so quiet. Whoa, that's awkward. What, were they sitting far apart? I mean, they had, like, tables right next to each other, and then people would sit, like, there. But, like, that is awkward. Yeah. That doesn't sound fun. Comment down below what your school situation was for this year. But that is it for the Keep Me Up With The Queen podcast, episode four. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. I did. <laughs> I did, too. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.